It's only 40 bucks, so it's not standing up. I got to figure out what I wired differently because we never had this echo issue before. Uh, I don't know. You still got it? It's there a little bit. No, it doesn't seem to be there as much. Let me see. A little bit. It is fine. Right? Mic check, mic check. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. Like, I hear it, but it's not It's not terrible. Nope. Not terrible, not terrible. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, shout out to uh, my NPCX there. Yeah, my man's hype. He got his shit. Bro, I've been making beats like fucking crazy, so like I'm using it. Like, the one day, the first day that I got it and set it up. Yeah. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> I, I figured out one day. The first day I got it and set up, I made nine beats. The day I texted you the picture, and I said, look, I made like nine fucking beats today. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was the day you set it up? Yep. Oh, that's why your ass made all the beats. Because I had you plugged was... it in, but I had I ran out of time to get to use it, and that was the first time that I was actually sitting there. You was dumb it. excited. That's why. Bro, like the workflow I do really, I like having all the extra buttons and shit. So definitely money well spent. Like, I'm happy with the purchase. Right. And I'm glad the wait is over because... It's been two and a half months. Yeah, so, I feel you. Um, and shout out to the guy who, who I bought it from because I ended up having to buy it used, but um, it came with some great perks and it was cheaper than brand brand new. So um, it was a great purchase. Damn. And he got it out to me quick. Like once I made the decision, he sent it two day air because it came shit. from Cali. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. No, that motherfucking shipment was a grip. Which box is it? The bottom box? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That shipment was a grip. Which I didn't, he didn't charge ship. Like some people charge shipping separately. It was oh, shit. whatever the cost was he listed. I'm, I'm he balling. Sure, he. I ain't good balling. You think he ain't no way in fuck you not making somebody pay the shipping if you don't got it like that. Maybe. And shipping in a big ass box like that is a lot. That's yeah. over and today. Yeah. Yeah. From California. From Cali. That's like two, three hundred dollars. So the ship flew on a plane. Yeah. Like, nah. Hey, appreciate you for doing that for my guy. <laughs> yes, I appreciate <laughs> it too. Uh, I don't have nothing else if you want to just get started. Facts. Let's get it motherfucking popping. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am what I am, and I'm going to be the very best of what I am. And for those who don't like me confidentially, I don't give a damn. I'd like to thank you for letting me be myself. Hey, what up, everybody? We're back in the house. Oh, oh, oh. You just fucked my hold up. <laughs> what up, everybody? Welcome back to the crib. I gave you an right, It's over. <laughs> what up, everybody? Welcome back to the crib. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> we are at episode number 88, and all is great. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy so motherfucking Thanksgiving. We're working to make sure that why are you waiting for the turkey? Because you know dinner's always late. It ain't never what time they say it's going to be. That's a fact. It do be late. Um, I'm excited because as you're watching this, I am in New Jersey with my sister and my nieces. That's awesome. For the first time in a long time. So I'm looking forward to that. I uh, can't wait. And I'm sure. I'm most likely at my in-laws eating some good food. Yeah, I'm sure I stuffed myself. I definitely plan on coming back wearing some big pants, probably sweatpants. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like the best thing to wear on that. Sweatpants day. and Sweats. Crocs, because you know all the salt, your feet swell up too. So I'm gonna be comfortable. Yeah, and then drive home and deal with fucking Black Friday. Ooh, at least I don't gotta work that no more. Yeah, I do miss that. Like some of my old companies, you would have the Thursday off, of course, and then you have they just closed for Black Friday too, so it was nice. Yeah. For twenty some years I never got to experience that. Fucking that's the main reason why I like uh Christmas and Thanksgiving now, because I get four days off each holiday. Oh shit. We don't work we don't work Christmas Eve or a day. And they always it's always close to a weekend, so they give us some extra two days oh, off. Oh shit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that shit's love. I'm gonna call your ass when I'm on my way to work. <laughs> hey, did you sleep in? <laughs> I'm gonna be not. Nah. Like, Ramon, stop being a hater. Click. <laughs> That's um, a fact. What are you grateful for, sir? I am grateful for family. I'm truly grateful for family. I'm grateful for, like, I consider you family also. Like, 
that's pretty much any and everybody who's in my corner. I'm a thousand I appreciate percent grateful that, bro. for everybody. Likewise. Like everybody has an impact on my life in some type of way. Whether it's said or not, it, you definitely make an impact in my life. Oh. I was gonna say family, but I'm not gonna copycat. Um I mean you but, want your family right now. So Yeah, no, but I I, I am. Um I'm grateful that even small occurrences, things that have maybe put time and space in between us that we've grown past it. We've gotten past it and we're able to be in each other's corners and talk on a regular basis. Like it's, it's super important. Right. Um, sorry, I don't have an update on therapy yet guys. Cause we, you know, we, we, yeah, we, we same recorded night, so, beforehand, but yeah. you know what happened if, uh, let me tell you how loyal I am to you. And not just you, but primarily you and also what we started. Um, I got an email from Sweetwater recruiting me to be a sales engineer. Oh, shit. Um, so and They know you used the product and all of that. So, so you probably... Well, I think, too, based on where I went to school and they like to hire that type of individual. Um, and then when you look at my other resume, the rest of my resume, oh, it yeah, makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. But the, the caveat is they don't do it remote. You have, have to, to work to Gar- uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Indiana. How far is that? I know it's far, but... Uh, nine hours and 32 minutes, because I was looking Driving? at... Driving? Yeah. We're going to have to Skype, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like... Because that they, it came up when I was sitting, I'm having um, dinner with Jordan and Profit. And I was like, bro, I can't do this. I'm like, how am I going to drive nine hours to pod with D? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it got to be... Well, now I would have to drive nine hours to you because you got all the equipment, oh, motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> we just gonna have to make some space in the house. Oh shit, that's a fact. Nah, we gonna do um, that shit monthly, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna shoot four Ten, episodes. Four episodes. Facts. Um, nah, but aside from, I had looked at it before when I first graduated, and um, Glassdoor is a great thing. So if you ever are looking at a company. You can research them on Glassdoor. Former employees have the ability to anonymously talk about their um, experience. And granted, just like customer satisfaction surveys, usually people who have an okay to good experience don't say shit, but the people who had a bad experience say shit. So, of course, you got to take it with a grain of salt. The biggest thing for me is I'd have to be enough earning potential that if I wanted to fly home, I could fly home. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to be like, I got to save up for eight months to fly home. Like, you know, at some point, my kids will have families or just them themselves. If I need to fly out, I don't want to be like, well, I'm sorry you're going through that. You got to go through it by yourself, buddy, because uh, that can't make the trip. And we know my driving limit is about three hours. So you go, you go, it's going to take you five days. Five to days to just drive <laughs> nine hours. But yeah, and supposedly driving west is more, uh, it's supposed to be a better experience than driving north and south because it's just fucking trees on 95. Yeah. But apparently it's supposed to be better, but... Better scenery, I But think. then also, then I like winter and fall, but like Midwest winter and fall? That's a different breed. And in the email, they did say like, oh, this is the second cheapest community to live in. That means something too, though. Yeah. <laughs> that comes with something. Nah. And demographically, um, when I looked at it before, it didn't seem to be a whole lot of diversity. Right. So I'm not closed-minded. Like, I did respond to the guy, like, you know, thank you for reaching out, and these are my concerns. What do you think? But they do pay for relocation. Oh, shit. So what did Jordan say? Jordan said, you think Darian moved to Fort Wayne with you? I said, if I go to Darian and say, you want to move to Fort Wayne with your family, he's going to tell me, fuck, I <laughs> Or fuck no. I or get know. the fuck we out of will, my face. We might want to get out of Delaware at some point. I feel like this would be like going to South. That's Delaware. going South. Is that South? No. <laughs> but with a lot more snow. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not with more brutal winters. Mm-mm. Like I'm. It's already like this is my max. I'm not going north. I don't care what's north. Fuck New York. All of that. I'm not going. Yeah, I'm too much. I'm cool with what I got right now. I don't want nothing worse. Like yeah. I'd rather go south than go fucking or at fucking west because. If you go west at the same level, it's way colder for some fucking reason. <laughs> and them goddamn mountains and yep. shit that's down there. Plus, you ever see them videos? Like, for some reason, years ago, I went to live in Colorado. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I was a Broncos fan. But for some reason, I had this burning desire to live in Colorado. 
and actually had somebody offer me a job by the time me and Kareem knew each other because one of our clients was in There's Colorado. Only one reason why I ever went to live in Colorado. Well, this is way before that. It was oh, illegal shit. everywhere still because oh, we're talking the late 90s. Oh, shit. I'll be forgetting you all the shit. And then I'd be looking at videos. You ever see the videos where people be driving around the mountain this fucking roads mad yep. and like, mm, nah, mm, uh-uh. Mm-mm, I'll never leave my house. Hell no. It's no point. Boy, Instacart bill going to be crazy. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Who does the shopping? You or your wife? Or y'all do it together? It's either both of us and then sometimes me. Okay. Because I'll be having a little more time than she does. I was going to say, do you think you could? But you probably can. I just don't like food shopping. And then the mistake I make I is like I, it I always seem to go food shopping when I'm hungry. And I buy way you buy, more and shit. And you buy shit you wouldn't normally get. You just see some random shit be like, let me try this. Yeah, like, that looks I want, good. I want to see, see what that's hitting on. Knowing damn well you don't eat that shit. <laughs> do y'all shop at one place or do you like shop at this place because the meat's cheaper or this place because the produce is better? Nah, yeah. When we go food shopping, we just get it all in one, one place. Because we don't like food shopping either. Like, okay. I feel like that's 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 one of the most annoying things that you got to do is go food shopping. I don't think anybody likes it, likes it. I guess if you got food stands, you love it. Well, oh like, shit! If I had food stands, boy, I'd be out, I'd be in there <laughs> singing and shit. <laughs> Polishing an apple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I got this, day. bro. I got this. It's funny the shit that you would be embarrassed about when you were a kid. Like there was a time when we had food stamps, and that's back when they were paper. You didn't have a swipey card, and uh, your mother would send you to the store. And like I want to pull this out. What if somebody I know see me? Now I wouldn't be embarrassed. Uh-huh. I done paid into that program. That's how I look at it. Exactly. For a lot of years. <laughs> For a lot of years. That's a I fact. I do. I would not feel no tight way about that. Shout out to um, the Essex County uh, Probation Office. Apparently, toward the end of my child support obligation, I had overpaid and they sent me some money back. Oh, shit. That was fucking dope. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's always dope. Getting money back is fire. Yeah. Especially unexpected. That's a fact. Yeah. So, since it's Thanksgiving, I want to ask you a question. Okay. That's right. Did we say Happy Thanksgiving? We did say Happy Thanksgiving. And we said Episode 88. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And we said Episode 88. What is the main piece to the meal? Well, the centerpiece is turkey, okay. but I could go without turkey as long as I had my mother slash my sister stuffing. All right. See, I feel like and then collard greens. And see, I feel like see, damn, I see like collard greens. Yeah, I never really cared for turkey too much. If as long as we had gravy, if motherfuckers ain't make gravy, then fuck that turkey. Like, yeah, I'm not, that dry ass <laughs> turkey dry that's gonna ass make turkey. me sleepy. I do not want that shit because you know the adults get the fucking big arms and shit. I didn't get that shit. Yeah, but I feel like the mac and cheese. If that mac and cheese is not right. Yes. That will literally fuck the entire meal up. Like, if it's not, like, the correct amount of cheese to noodle ratio, like, all that shit, I feel like that'll fuck up the whole meal. So, like, this year, I get the benefit of my sister's cooking, which is my mother's cooking. I mean, my sister's own version of it, but just on par. And then every year, boss man and his wife hook me up with a fucking plate. And I can't wait. <laughs> when you get this plate for them, because boss man need to make me one too. I'll come, I'll come pick that bitch up. <laughs> no now, pork. That's it. Yeah, Friday when he comes to work, he'll bring me a plate. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring us a plate, boss man, <laughs> if you see this. <laughs> bring us a plate. I will I will uh, pick it up from Ramon. I be trying to uh, weave my way in there. I was like, yo. You don't got no single nieces or nothing. Like, <laughs> we my way to the family. They just seem like they always have a great time at his house. Like, yeah. you see how he fosters family at work. So imagine what it's like in his real family. Exactly. You know what I mean? I know that shit's love. Yeah. Plus, his wife can cook. Cook. That's important. Yeah. Like, you know Somebody saying, in the house that can cook. You know, that's all that matters. You know how you were saying, like, you can tell when food was cooked with love? There's a whole lot of love in that plate. Yeah. Like, I'm envisioning it. That's a fact. I've been having dreams about it. This is almost time. Yeah, nah, that's a fact. My mo- uh, my mother in law's uh, string beans, her fucking chicken, her fried fucking chicken, bro. That shit. Y'all get fried chicken on Thanksgiving too? Oh shit. We a fried chicken family. We like holidays. We getting some fried chicken. Like, <laughs> wait, 
What's your wife eating? Oh, she's we, not on the vegan thing anymore. Nah, she ain't a vegan shit. Oh, right. okay. She, she, she was cool with it, but then she felt like it's not really doing much. Okay. She just got into the more active shit, and she's been doing better. So, plus, I gotta imagine it's a pain in the ass to make two meals. Yeah, because I know you wasn't eating fried I, mushrooms. Fuck, I was. I was uh, lion's mane. Fried lion's mane, bro. I swear, you might think I'm lying. You might think I'm exact. It literally nah, tastes like bullshit. it literally tastes like fried chicken. Did it really? Like I could literally eat that and not ever eat chicken again because it was so good. Some birds again. Yeah, I know you heard it that time. <laughs> I heard it that time. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Did you um? Is the texture similar? Uh, with lion's mane, yes. Really? And that's actually one of the harder ones to find. Like. Ever since we fried lions, man, we've been trying to look for it again, and we haven't been able to find it oh, anywhere. Shit. Like every once in a blue moon, if we see it, we are going to grab it because that's the, the I best would, one. I to would fry. try it once. I'm curious. Nah, it's it's really good. Like I feel like fried lions, man, mushrooms is the best, and then second best is blue oyster. Okay. I feel like those are the best ones to fry, but lions, man, tops everything. Oh shit! That's what's that's the key component in that um mushroom coffee that I drink. Lions it's lion's mane. Yeah. yeah, that's the best. That's the best one. That's just the t- one that tastes the best. I think they say that's the one that's most nutrients for you and all that shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Nah. Fried mushrooms and shit. Actually, I might have somebody hunt for some. Oh, <laughs> Give my mother in law to fry some motherfucking mushrooms. Oh shit. But nah, do you guys yeah. have any traditions that you do on Thanksgiving? No, I'm sorry. We talked about this last year. Like traditions and how you felt about Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, yeah. but we still get together. Right. You're more into the family. Thing. Yeah. That's like, we don't really base it upon the holiday itself. It's more literally about our family We're, coming together and just chilling and relaxing and enjoying each other's company. Yeah. Like, showing appreciation for all of each other. Like, that's pretty much what it is. Have you ever done a Friendsgiving? Nah. Do you know the concept? Nah. So typically, never. most people, I'll say obligated, but for lack of a better word, obligated to spend Thanksgiving with their family. Yeah. So what a lot of people will do is they'll schedule some time before or around it where all of their, their circle of friends get together and they make a meal together and break bread together as friends. Oh, that's fire. I done it once with uh, my friend Brian. We had this group that would always go down and we'd hang out at the shore house during the, the summertime. We would have like weekends where we would just all go down and, and hang out at Seaside. And then a couple of years, um, we did Friendsgiving down the shore. Mm. So where everybody cooked something. And um, and typically, it's not always the best food, right? Because we're the people that aren't necessarily the cooks of the group. You got to have families. A, you got to have a couple of friends to do Friendsgiving. Yeah, but... It can't, <laughs> be, it can't be me and John and you out there. <laughs> like, hey, it's Friendsgiving. Yo, like, this shit might like, be dope. I mean, we might have to go to fucking... Uh, a restaurant like fucking uh, who always makes Thanksgiving dinner? Fuck, uh, Bob Evans. So we might have to go get a plate from Bob Evans because I don't see the. Well, you like? I to mean, cook. I like to cook, yeah, but I'm not cooking everything, and I and John don't fucking cook either, so he can, but he just don't. Yeah, same. Yeah, but, bro, I. I wanted to do it one year. Like, nigga, we know how I'm going to feel. I'm, I'm in there with an apron. Only nigga here cooking. Y'all niggas in there watching the, the game, game and shit. The and shit. I'm, I'm like, like, one of y'all niggas going to help me? Who going to get the turkey out? <laughs> like, 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 like. Bro, I did it one year. I was like, because we didn't want to go anywhere. and But we wanted Thanksgiving food. So my sister hooked me up with the recipe for the stuffing. Now, here's the challenge. My sister don't know ingredients. She cooked with love, right? So she so you know that to put this much of this and this pinch of this. And so when I asked her for the recipe, she told me what goes in it, but she couldn't tell me amounts. So I'm like, how am I supposed to do with this? That is, in our fucking families, ain't no amounts like... They just put whatever the right, ancestors yeah. told you to put in <laughs> yeah, yeah. What feels right in the wrist. That's what it is. So what I, I, yeah, yeah, what not, I had to do. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Not so, on Thanksgiving, cuz. <laughs> so what I had give it thanks for. That's what I so what I had to do was I looked at a regular recipe and I kind of just gauged it from that. Like, all right, this regular recipe said to do this. So I'm gonna use this much. Um what was I gonna say? Oh, so I decided to cook the turkey. First of all, cleaning it disgusted the shit out of me. 
Yeah. I never wanted to be. I never wanted to be done. But even just the texture of like washing it off, I never wanted to be finished anything fucking faster. And I've never think, done it again. See, I don't think I ever. And that's the funny thing. I never made a turkey. Because when we even did one, our own like little family Thanksgiving with just me and the kids and the wife, we made Cornish hens. And see, that's how I would do it going forward. I would even do like just to get a, a turkey breast and maybe some wings because I like the turkey wings. Yeah, but all yeah, that turkey wings is fire. But all that fucking preparing that big ass fucking nobody made turkey wings like my mother. And it's like my the whole where most of the meat is is dry as shit. People say fry them, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared to fry it. Y'all niggas, I'm burnt y'all houses fucking... down and shit. Well, I think also they're front. They're dropping a frozen bird. Like that's the one thing I did notice. I worked at this exclusive, be this high end supermarket once, and the big. This is before Whole Foods and shit. And the big thing was about like organic, and they sold these organic turkeys. And one of your benefits as an employee, you got to pick whatever fucking turkey you wanted for Thanksgiving. And I, I well, my sister cooked it, but I brought home this organic turkey, and bro, that was the juiciest, best turkey I've ever organic. had in my life. Organic, never frozen. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. But I think I'm like you. I'd rather have like a little roasted chicken. Yeah, I'd rather have And some maybe chicken. some turkey wings. And turkey wings. See, this is all reminding me like what I'm going to grab before <laughs> we all get together. I don't care if nobody make it. I'm making me some fucking turkey wings. Mm. I need some turkey wings. That shit fire. And that's got to be way easier than fucking cooking whole turkey. Hell Yeah. Don't nobody want to do a whole goddamn turkey. Cornbread. I don't know if anybody making cornbread, but Ooh. and my mom, she used to make it in a cast iron skillet, bro. Really? And then she used to make fucking pineapple upside down cake and shit, nigga. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> that was I, I miss those times because my great grandmother, she lived in Buffalo, New York. Yeah. And she pretty much would come down and she'd stay with us from Thanksgiving through Christmas to, to the New Year's. And her, my it's kind of funny. God rest my grandmother's soul. It's like it skipped my grandmother's. Like she could cook okay, yeah, but she didn't cook like my great grandma and my mother did. And then, luckily, my sister got it in her generation. Oh yeah. And then I think three of my four nieces got it. Like could cook just like the answer. All right, that's good shit. I was about to say the numbers are a little off, but nah, three out of four, it just one of them missed the. Mr. Mark. Yeah. But it's all right. And probably not from a lack of ability, just no just interest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I feel like cooking does have to be an interest in a way. Like, that's the only way it's going to taste good if you actually have interest in cooking mm-hmm. what you're cooking. Like, that's why, like, me, I make certain shit because I know I want to eat this shit and I want it to be good. So I'm going to take my time and do specific things yeah. to try and make it better. But if it's some shit I never made, never ate, don't really... Yeah, I don't want to do this. Uh, oh, shit. Like, like, who else gonna make this shit? I'm not making this. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm ready to change the subject because we're the hungry as <laughs> shit. Like, can it just be this week already? Nah, that that. But we reminiscing before we fucking. Trust me, I got two plates in front of me right now. <laughs> in the future, bro. Hey, what you talk about? I am not playing. I want mm. some of everything, as long as it don't got pork in it. This is where I draw the line. I can't. How do you flavor the green beans then? Green beans? Uh, turkey neck. Yeah. Turkey neck. I yeah, heard. actually, fucking caught it. That's neck. exactly yep. what it is. Because last time we asked, because she made some greens, and uh, he was like, uh, we was like, uh, what's in this? And they yelled, turkey neck. I said, ah, I bet. I, bet. I, was, I was hype. Oh, the right collard. I collard, did say. And collard greens. Because right, I'm not going to lie. I can't do collard greens. Like make them? Yeah. Like, I can make them, but they're not like anybody else's. Like, not like my mom's, my mother-in-law, my grandma, not like nobody. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I said I wanted to try it. Because <clears throat> I, I tried the stuffing in the first year. I think I fucking killed it. And then the second time I made it, I wasn't as happy with it. Like, I didn't want it the next day and shit. Like, my mother's stuffing, I would just, first of all, I love eating the sausage afterward. Like before she would she would leave a little sausage to the side before that she didn't mix into the mix. And then I would just like I'd be good on just the fucking 
stuffing with a little gravy on it. Mm-hmm. And then the next year I made it, it wasn't as good. Like, I didn't fuck with it that much. Uh, I shit. was like, fuck. Because I don't think, I think my little cheat sheet I had lost. And I'm just, here I am just with. He winging it. I'm winging <laughs> it. And winging it's not the best idea. I'm like, motherfucker, I should have videoed this shit last year. That's a fact. That shit definitely have you feeling like that. I don't know. Maybe, um, unless my sister's doing it the night before, maybe I said I should uh yeah, set your Pop tripod up. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind this. <laughs> this is for posterity. Just do what you normally do, all right? Or I'm going to have to have Autumn. Autumn, come teach me. What you What you think is the most hated dish, though? Green bean casserole. The most hated... I feel like the most hated thing on Thanksgiving is cranberry sauce. Now, see, I know people that need it. I don't need it. You don't need it, yeah. I don't know if I dislike and see, it. Just... It's worse when it's the ones with the actual cranberries in it. Uh, I, I don't like choking on cranberries. I know this one, is yeah, take... fuck I, I was going through it. I was choking on cranberries. Because <laughs> what did they put it on? I the turkey, to... right? Huh? Cranberry sauce? Yeah. Well, I some people you, just I spread guess, it all yeah. over the whole plate. See, ha, I came in the hood, all right? So my cranberry sauce came smooth out of a, of a can. can. Yeah. We would just empty the can on a plate and then slice, and slice it. that yep. shit. And I would just eat that shit by itself. For some reason, when I was younger, I used to love cranberry sauce. Regular, like not with the cranberries in it, because that right. shit would fuck me up. I used to love that shit. And I would just slice that shit, eat it. And I never knew you supposed to you you supposed to put it on something? Yeah, I think like if you order um I think I was eating that shit like it was jello. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Like it's a sandwich that they have at Capriati's, and it's like turkey, the Bobby stuff, the Bobby, yeah, with the fucking cranberry I, that, sauce. That's my on it. favorite sandwich from almost really? everywhere. Yeah, because they only have it around this time, and it mm-hmm. just be hit. They put the gravy and all that shit. I on just there. don't want the cranberry sauce, and I've never even tried it. I don't know why I've decided I don't like it. I was a savage nigga. I'm out here eating clumps of cranberry <laughs> sauce like it's Jello. Like what this the nigga fuck? Risking cutting himself, <laughs> sticking his finger in the can and shit. Ouch. <laughs> Like, yo, they would put that shit out there. I'll be the only nigga that take a slice. Everybody <laughs> else leave that shit. I'm no like, no thanks, none for me. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what's wrong? This is some good crap, bro. <laughs> this is gonna get me get lose me some points, but I don't like um yams. Oh, all right. Do you do you not like them all together or how they're prepared? I don't think I like them all together. Well, hold on. I think it's too sweet for me. Because are yams and sweet potatoes the same thing? Cause, yeah, aren't they? Because, you know, when when you say yams, I think about the thick little clumps of shit. No, and, and then they used to do the thing and then they would bake like the... A, um, like a... like a Not paste, the, but the, it's mushy. The marshmallows on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't like that? I think it's the texture. I think it's the texture thing. Plus, I'm not like... You don't eat sweet... mushy shit, do you? Like... Oatmeal, you don't really fuck with that. I don't fuck with oatmeal. Like, but if I had, like, I would eat grits, but not fucking oatmeal. Grits is a different breed, though. That's what I'm saying. That's I think crazy. Grits is almost like it, but it's not nah, at it's all. more texture. Yeah, yeah, it has way more texture. Grits is like you eating a bowl of glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, fucking oatmeal is like eating wet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Like somebody took the, the fucking uh, contents of the shredder and put some fucking milk. That's crazy. I love sweet potatoes, though, or yams. See, but you's a sweet tooth ass nigga, though. That makes sense. I should the be, but yeah, sauce. I'm a sweet tooth ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, we all like what we like. Nah, that's a fact. That definitely is a... See? But I don't think that's going to lose you some points, though. Now, every time I tell a black person I don't fuck with sweet potatoes, they're like, What? That's because every black person think they grandma make the best sweet potatoes. That's the that's yeah. the problem. Like your grandma's sweet potatoes taste like the last grandma's sweet potatoes I had. <laughs> like I don't want them shits. <laughs> I remember, it's fucked up. I do eat sweet potatoes. Though. Yeah, that's, <laughs> them shits all right to me. I one thing my grandmother did cook exceptionally well: the fucking turkey wings. She would make me these turkey wings and the fucking green beans. Oh my god, that sounds good. I've been dying for somebody to make me some turkey wings. Turkey wings so creepy. They done up the price on turkey wings, nigga. <laughs> I wonder how much these turkeys gonna cost. Yo. Seventy dollar turkeys and shit. They get like fuck out of here. Niggas about to get um them fucking uh, roasted chickens that you be seeing in the supermarket. 
<laughs> with some Stouffer stuffing. And is that what you gonna do? Did did your peoples make the stuffing from scratch? Yeah, they See, made the cornbread. Cut up all the celery. See, I don't think I was watching onions. my mom at that time, but I've never watched it be prepared from scratch. Oh, because yeah. I've. I've always heard that it being made from scratch is different than that box shit. I ain't gonna lie, I love the box shit. Yeah, I went through some shit in my life, so <laughs> no, it, it fills a void sometimes. Yeah. But but like, they had this shit where they bake the bread and then crumble it up to make the stuff. Ooh, that sound good as fuck. If if she got some uh, homemade stuff, can you bring? I some? got you. <laughs> oh, problem is my sister makes it with, with sausage, sausage though. What type of sausage? Pork. Unless she's changed some shit. She she might use turkey. I'll ask her. I don't Put know. in a good word for me. <laughs> a, <laughs> I have like, to ask her. Like, yo, my man's never had no homemade uh, stuffing. Can you make some to the side without the, without the pig? A, yeah. Just, just a little bit. Just a bowl. That's all I need. That shit sound good as fuck, though. Bro, my stomach literally is like... <laughs> hungry as shit now. Uh, we only got one thing left on the list. Um, I don't know if you heard Rhapsody's new song. So Rhapsody has been quiet for a while. And y'all know how I feel about rap. So what? Rhapsody. Uh-huh. She had a new song out last week called Asteroids and Hip Boy produced it. Oh shit. The song is fu- I mean, she's fucking going it's in. Called Asteroids? Yeah. All right. Bro, she's fucking going in. Um yeah, I wish we could play it, but Copyright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we um, don't want to. We already got two. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gots to be. Them shits fall off. Is it like hard inquiries on your credit? Did he fall off over time? <laughs> yeah. But, um, nah, they watching your ass. They... Uh, I saw this clip that I sent to you that maybe or maybe not you saw it. But um, the guy was talking about giving people like Rhapsody flowers. And we had this era of he labeled it prostitution rap. And, you know, he's talking about artists like Sexy Red or fine-ass fucking Ice Spice. I was thinking of the last video I saw her. And I the frozen so, in the moment for a second. The Betty Boop costume boy. I know. Everybody was talking about that shit. Aren't you proud of me? I ain't send it to you. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Because <laughs> you'd be like, what the fuck am I doing to do this? <laughs> <laughs> hey. But, so, like... Especially having a daughter. So people will argue that it's sexual liberation, right? Because, you know, previously women aren't, weren't allowed to talk about their escapades like we could. And, you know, freedom of speech, of course. But does it add any value to our culture? No. And just for GP, because, you know, you said I have a daughter. If my daughter ever were to... She's going in the basement, chained to the floor. <laughs> okay? She's not coming out no more. What the... Like, I'm sorry. I can't get with No, but it. I mean, like, even listening to it, like... You... The coochie you, pink and your booty hole brown? That you talk about? Yeah. We like be you eating niggas' to, ass. We be eating niggas' ass. Like, you happen ass. to like, walk past her room and you fuck? hear it playing. <laughs> what the fuck are these songs, bro? Like, if we run out of creativity to talk about things of value... And people argue like, well, that's what the record companies, you know, shove in our faces, the, the violent stuff. They don't put the conscious shit in there. But you know, at the end of the day, record companies are businesses, right? And what do they want to do? Turn a profit. So what do they do? Hmm, they don't buy it or listen to this, but they definitely buy a ton of this shit. Let's put more money yeah. behind this shit. They know we buy the toxic shit. We don't buy the fucking sane shit. We want the bullshit. Y'all want the bullshit. Let me say that because I don't want that shit. Yeah. Like, I want actual lyricism, whether you male or female. I don't want to hear about what color your coochie is or your booty hole is. What, you just took your shit? Did she? And I think like, she did a... They got, like, a lipstick or a makeup line and, like... Called the, booty hole? Yeah, it's, when it's, like, booty it's hole It's really called brown. Bo- booty hole brown. <laughs> yeah. I was just bullshit and trying to crack a joke. <laughs> no. And why would you... Why would you want to put something on your lips, first of all? Booty hole brown. That's how you know if she eat ass. Oh, you got that booty hole brown lipstick on? Mm-mm. Let me arch my back for you. <laughs> that was one time, sir. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't, oh, oh. You, I wasn't talking about it. Edit. <laughs> I was not. And I did not arch my back. Oh, I know you did. That's the problem. <laughs> That's why I knew I wasn't talking about it. <laughs> No, but all jokes aside, like. Oh. Do women want to hear that? I can only speak from a guy's perspective. Like, yes, I'll make jokes like, is Ice Spice nice to look at from a visual perspective? Yes, but do I want to hear the lyrics all the time? And do women want to hear this? Like, who is the audience for these songs? These thought-ass bitches out here. That's who's the audience for a lot of these songs. Like, bra. <laughs> you said, like, who? That's what that's what catchphrase, like, bra. But oh, it's so vulgar. It, like, like, I say, like, we had Foxy. Well, I'll say I <laughs> yeah, you had Foxy like and Kim, but we also had Queen Latifah. We had MC Light. We had Bahamadia. We that had Vicks at one point. And though those artists sold great numbers without the same content, but even I feel like it was tastefully different. Like when Kim and Foxy did it, like, yes, did they have a lot of heavy sexual content in some of their lyrics, but A, I think they both told stories well, whether they wrote them themselves or not, right? And they delivered it well, and it wasn't always the same thing and always so just... It leaves no mystery, right? Like, I don't know. That's the thing. It, like you said, it leaves no mystery. So, like, this is going to basically talk about everything, but, like, whether you dress how they like how they talk or... Whether you act how they talk, the number one thing a person's going to think is cheeks. They're not going to think, I'm going to wipe this chick up and we're going to do the rest of life together. No, bitch, I'm just trying to fuck and then it is what it is. Like, it's not... Yeah, because... Like, I mean, granted... Now. Like, let's, you let's sh- be a thousand. Ice Spice, everybody, like, she's nice to look at, all of that, but... Which one of y'all is really wifing this bitch? Going to really wife this bitch? Knowing that she for the streets. Is she though? Or is she just a persona? I'm playing devil's advocate. I mean, even if she's a persona, that's the persona she puts on. So now you're dating this chick that everybody knows as for the streets. Mm. She not. She might not be for the streets, but that's their, the perception. The perception Around everywhere is she's for the streets. So similarly, you wouldn't date like a stripper or only yeah. fans worker. Nah. Okay. Nah. Nope. Because you care what other people think, or no, not because I care what other people think. I want what's attached to me to be something that's positive. Okay. I don't want nothing to be attached to me that it be something that's vulgar or something that's disrespectful to anybody in any way. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Like, granted, you can't be a perfect human being. Nobody's, it's not going to Nobody be, is, yeah. Yeah, nobody's going to just be okay with everything you do all the time. But there's some lines that got to be, like, like you said, I have a fucking daughter. Like, I don't want my daughter seeing none of this shit. Yeah. Like, I want her to continue to be the little princess that she is, so that way when she gets older, she knows that she is valued. You don't have to show all your shit or rap about something or act about some type of way just for people to accept you. Right. No. There's so much more than that. I don't want nobody to just think you just a, a quick piece of ass or a pretty a pretty girl who's singing. No, I want them to know that there's substance there. Exactly. Yeah. Like nah. Do you think it has any longevity? Like interestingly, I think we talked about earlier in the year. I think what has any longevity? That style of rap. Yeah. Because it's always gonna be hoes. <laughs> and it's always, it's gonna, always been hoes, though. But it's but it hasn't always been hoes that's happy that they were hoes. Oh, where Being, now? Hoeing it's before sun. was shameful. Shameful. Now, now it's, it's praised. But everything cyclical. Like, what do you think it'll take to go the other way? Said so what? Everything goes in cycles. What do you think it'll take to go the other way? I don't know what you mean. So like I feel stupid right at, now. No, no, no. <laughs> at one point you're saying that it wasn't cool to be a hoe. Yeah. And then oh, now it's cool it to be, be kind of like bell bottoms. Bell bottoms were in and then they were out and then bell bottoms were in and like, you know, skinny tapered jeans were in and then it seems like people are going back to baggy again a little bit. So everything goes in a circle. Everything's cyclical. Ouroboros. 
But I feel like hoe and shit would be something that's brought back. You think it will come back or? It's back. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. Do you think it'll ever it'll come get back, back to again? a point where it's not as popular to, to be a whore? No. There's too many people who's making millions off of just being a whore. Like, I mean, and no disrespect, not saying that y'all all are 100% whores. I don't know what you do in your life, but what you promote shows whoredom. Okay. Like, it does, it's not sexual liberation? No. It's not sexual liberation. Okay. What is, I'm not disagreeing. What, what does sexual liberation mean? It, that you can be free to talk about the things that make you sexual, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a woman, so here we go in women's business again. But I've heard See, people, I've heard people argue for they should be able to write that style of rap because it promotes sexual liberation. Yeah, all right, I understand that. Yeah, you could, you should be able to write whatever type of style of rap that you want, but you have to know the style of rap that you promote is what these kids are going to see, mm-hmm. is what these kids are going to look up to. Like, there's no more, like, even fucking. Nicki Minaj was a little, but she wasn't like none of this. No. Like, she said some shit. Eat my ass like a cupcake, but she wasn't yeah. like, we be eating niggas ass. Like, she, she like, come on, bro. And she do. Like you said, you don't leave no mystery. So, like, I, you've shown all your cards. Yeah. like Everyone. I know what you do. I know you gonna want me to eat your ass and you gonna eat mine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Is it still called the 69 you eating ass or is it a 96? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but nah, that's a fact though. Like, you, I just feel like everybody what they put out, and and that's the same thing. Even though what you put out is what you sing about, what you getting money for. If you decide to do something on the side, like like a lot of the, let's say gangster rap. Because when I say that, motherfuckers know I'm talking about niggas. It's talk about killing people and all that right. shit. When you talk about that and it actually do shit of the opposite, that changes the perspective. Because that only shows that this is just music for you. Whereas if you're hoeing and then you show hoeing shit, you're hoeing. And I, and I feel the same way. Like if it was the opposite, if you right. talking gangster shit, you do gangster shit, you. Gangsta shit. Like. Right, and that's kind of like the era we... I don't think that shit matters no more. Like, we always looked up to, like, this person said they did it. They better have lived that life. Yeah. But now... I don't think people care. They do. They do. I don't know. How, get, how, how uh, does people still listen to fucking... Uh, what's the fucking clown? 6 um, 9 6 9 Those... That's part of this new generation that's fucking retarded. I'm not gonna lie, because I don't think you're supposed I, to say that word. But you're not on. supposed to, but these little niggas are retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I just, love this. Both uh, episodes we've been doubling just, up on our statements. I'm just saying, like bro. a killer says, I said what I said. Yeah, yeah. like now nah, that's a fact. Like I'm just saying, because like the way that they think about what what he did and all of that, they don't think of it how we do. Like rules are rules. Yeah. You signed up for this shit. You don't talk about this shit. They look at it as, oh, his team was trying to get him and all that. Like, no. He signed up for that, that life. Yep. If you sign up for that life, you, you live that life. Yeah, follow the rules. But they're the ones who like just want to side with some shit just to be a part of something. And I feel like that's fucking retarded. Like they are. I'm sorry. I triple down. Triple down. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that's a fact though. Like they don't understand. We're big on principle. Mm. Like I literally feel like from my generation up, it's all based upon principle. You do some shit, you stick by that shit. Don't try to bring everybody with you. Yeah. And don't try to put somebody else down because you know you fucked up and niggas is on your ass. You needed a scapegoat and some protection. That's yep. what you needed. Like, don't try to... And that's the thing that I hate. And that's the same thing with hoeing. <laughs> Just saying. I'm, I, cause, I wish you could see your... I can't wait till you see your expression. <laughs> you know how your older generation, like your older your elders in your family, like the older uncle, your, your pops and grandpops would make a statement. And that's why... Take a little sip. <laughs> and that's why, that's why that is. 
That's <laughs> a fact, though, bro. Like, just all I'm saying is just understand what you're pushing out to the world mm-hmm. and either live by it or let it be known that you don't live by it. But don't play this card and think people are not going to think that that's what you do. Because that's what it's going to be until people find out that's not what you do. And then you might get pressed. This is for the niggas. Like, they can find out you not about that life. Somebody going to press you. Somebody, I'm about to say, somebody going to pull that card. And they go pull it publicly. We all got phones now. <laughs> like, nigga, you know how embarrassing it would be? I'm talking, I'm out here talking like, yeah, I killed 10 niggas, motherfucker. I do all that. I stay with my nine on. And somebody smack you. Press. And you be like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stop <As> it! <laughs> a fact, bro. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Like, stay, stay. Handle your business. What they say, stand on business. Like, don't. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Oh, that's that meme I've been seeing going around. Stand on business. Yeah. <laughs> um. Want hit up? Hit up? Would you rather? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, check out that rap city shit. But I'm excited. That means a new album's coming out. Anytime she do that, they be in a new album dropping? No, just in general. Like, she released a single, so the, the formula is that new album's probably coming out. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you, rather, would you rather always have wet socks or a small rock of your shoe? <sighs> oh, I despise wet socks. Same. But anything in my shoe pisses me, me off. <laughs> yeah, both are a form of hell. And then imagine what your sneaks going to smell like mm. after them wet socks, bro. And your toes all wrinkled and pale and shit. Fuck, that is a, that's not as easy as I thought. I think you're going to have to Febreze his house every time you take his shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to sleep with your feet out the cat door. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the rock in the shoe over the wet socks. Surprisingly, Ooh. like maybe you can manipulate the rock in the right spot. Not that, I but have... if you have wet socks, right, and mm-hmm. you wear slides, you still walk around. It, will, it, will, it, will the socks dry eventually? Or does the air get into it? It's not inside of a shoe. So Let me tell you. One time we went down. Like, Nigga, that don't work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one time we went down to DC and. We, we, you know, shout out to my son because we wanted to do the touristy shit and see the monuments and shit. And we got caught in a fucking rainstorm. And I never forget walking. And every time I walked, you could see the water coming through the holes in the tops of the sneaks oh. because we got that soaked. Oh, I hate that shit. You hear that? Yeah. Quack, quack. Nah, that shit's a Yeah, I'm going to choose fuck. the little pebble. I'm going to figure that it out. Pebble. Maybe I can manipulate it to a little tiny space where I have an arch because I'm flat footed as a fuck. As fuck. Nah, too. that bitch gonna roll around daily. As you every step you take, say you flat footed, that mm-hmm. motherfucker gonna be that motherfucker gonna be stuck in the center. <laughs> motherfucker gonna, <laughs> gonna seep into your soul and shit. Walking into my until it becomes a part of my body. Excuse me. Facts. My nigga bedtime coming up. <laughs> <laughs> now we need like you speak the truth. Now it's time oh, for bed. Oh, it's a perfect question for you. Okay. Would you rather star in a Star Wars movie? Or a Marvel film. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you gonna pick Marvel film. I'm gonna pick Marvel, and I'll say the reason I chose to. I haven't been a fan of the new Star Wars movies, so if I couldn't have starred in one of the prequel, like episodes one through three or four, five, and six, I would choose to be Black Iron Man. Uh I'm I'm at a mix for real for real. Cause I kind of want to choose Star Wars just so I can meet Chewbacca. That's oh, shit. <laughs> That's it. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I just want to meet Chewbacca. But nah, I'll probably pick Marvel film for real, for real. Like, just to be any character of that motherfucker. Any, any one of the heroes, I'll be any of them niggas. It's funny. I watch Age of Ultron again because I'm finally... I'll probably be Miles Morales. I can see that. Um, I watch Age of Ultron again because... Now knowing that Reddington was fucking Ultron and listening to it is just even more enjoyable. Ever since you told me that shit, when I watched it, every time I heard it, I was listening. I was hearing a movie. The fucking <laughs> Elizabeth, you can't. <laughs> like, uh, bro, I got to the point where Elizabeth's no longer around for real this time. 
damn, took you this long, bro. I was, I was, I was holding it in, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, damn, but Liz, Liz died. I was like, yeah. And then she and then she came back. No, I, just, I was um, I was waiting for I was waiting for you to be at the point where she really died. Like, oh shit. <laughs> well, it's always fucking season nine. I that know. Was, that's that's all like what is this nigga gonna be waiting? <laughs> See, I ain't trying to fuck the show up for you. I appreciate I'll be that. Did you start watching that. Ozark yet? Nah, I just finished the recruit. Okay. I'm so mad. The recruit was dope, but I don't like the way it ended. Nigga. That shit. <sighs> it took me and my wife a while to finish it because, you know, we've been doing so much shit, but it took us a minute to finish it. So I'm like, it's the last episode. We about to knock this shit out. Today. We watched it today. Oh, shit. Nigga. If you ask her, I was cussing that fucking show out. I was like, what the fuck is this? We got to wait until they decide to drop another fucking season. Yep. And then they went on the strike. So what? Bro, I lost my shit. And how you go, you go pop her before she even said, (laughs) nigga. Like, (laughs) like, yo, there's so much shit I want to say about this fucking show. Like, bro, like now I literally am anticipating the next season because I need to know. You need to know what happened. What the fuck happened? I need to know if, if she's really dead or if you hurt her. Like, I need to know. And I hate when they do that because sometimes they wait too long. And, and this is what took me so long to finish those are because they wait. It was, I mean, not their fault, but the pandemic happened. So they couldn't film. And then I just, it was so long, I just lost interest. Yeah. It'll do that, bro. Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to sh- send you a picture. I sent a shipment to the University of the Ozarks. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I was supposed to send you a picture of it. It was literally the University University of the Ozarks. Oh, shit. It's funny. The show was so good that I found after I was done, I was like missing them niggas like they was my friends. Like, damn, I miss my nigga. That's how it be when you watch a fucking, like, 100. When when we finished that, bro, I I ain't ain't know what to do with myself. I was (laughs) like, my homies, where all my people's at? Like, (laughs) like, Like, uh, what's what's going on next, man? Yeah. We need to... <laughs> so I ended up switching, and I've been watching this um, The Life of Our Planet or something like that. The one that's uh, narrated by Morgan Freeman on Netflix. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah, know. it was interesting. That's uh, that's basically like natural geographic. Yeah, shit. like dinosaurs and like the... Like, that's how I knew. I didn't realize the planet had been through like fucking seven extinctions. You know, that's all they had to do was make Morgan Freeman fucking narrate and everybody's like, listening. oh... <laughs> God's telling the like, story of how he did shit. Because you just told me Morgan Freeman narrate, narrates it, I'm about to go watch yeah. it. Like, like, <laughs> like, that's why, Morgan Freeman. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. That's oh, shit. Though. What's your final thought, sir? My final thought is, happy Thanksgiving once again, or whatever holiday you decide to call it for your own. Uh, Make sure you love your family, your friends, your loved ones. Make sure you call people, tell them, tell them happy holidays, all that good shit. Uh. Love yourself and everybody in your corner. Nobody's going to love you for you. You have to do it your own. Bar. It's like that. <laughs> it's like that. My final thought is, why do I smell weed? And I forgot it's sitting on the desk. <laughs> I forgot to put it away. Anyway, my final thought is, though, uh, enjoy your time with your family, your friends, whether it's Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, or just me and my people's hanging out and eating some good food. Uh value that time it's precious facts listen and watch watch and listen great discussions don't know how we got half the places we got but they were great discussions as usual and uh we'll be back uh we'll be back next week like normal make sure you follow us on everything at water crib across instagram facebook twitter threads on tiktok we are <laughs> warner crib podcast make sure you like comment and subscribe to the youtube warm the crib podcast and go Get some, Get merch. some merch. Some WTCmerch.com. Some good shit on there. The are you up? We outside shit is definitely over <laughs> by now. I fucked up last week, alright? But it's over by now, motherfucker. You had your chance. Hey, that discount code. Yep. Discount code done. Yeah. Fuck you, B. Till the next drop. Till the next drop. Fast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a safe, happy holiday. Until next week. Peace. Peace.